Hi guys, my name is Ellie Rollins and I'm the author of Zip, which is this book that's appearing backwards in, on your screen right now since I don't have a re real webcam and I'm using my computer. Zip is out on Thursday, September 27th, that's this Thursday, and I'm here today because I'm helping announce Razorbill's Ask an Author program, which is a way for fans and readers like you to connect with Razorbill authors like me. In case you don't know, Razorbill is an imprint of Penguin Young Readers Group, and it's dedicated to publishing the very best of young adult and middle grade fiction and nonfiction. Each week, Razorville readers will have the opportunity to ask authors book or life questions due to hashtag Razorbill Ask an Author by 12 p.m. on Friday. The answers to the top three questions will be posted by that author on Monday on the Razorville YouTube channel. And that's what's happening right now. You're experiencing it. Got it? Good. So your first question is about inspiration. Um, Zip was inspired by this book. The Odyssey. This is my fancy copy that I bought for myself after I found out about my book deal, which is why you get to see it. Um, so The Odyssey is about this guy Odysseus and his journey home after the fall of Troy. Basically what happens is Odysseus pisses off the gods and they decide they want to make it really hard for him to get home. So they throw a bunch of obstacles in his way. Now, I love Greek mythology, and I love the Odyssey. I think it's it's a really fun read. Um, but I always thought it seemed like kind of a bum rap that in these stories, the guys get to go off and have all these great adventures, and the women stay home and, like, I don't know, knit or something. So I wanted to write a story about a spunky girl who gets to have a cross-country adventure all on her own. And in case you didn't figure it out, that's that's this girl. That's, that's what I did. Um, her name's Lissa. Her story is a little bit different than Odysseus's, though. Um, Odysseus makes the gods angry, and that's why they don't want to let him go home. But Lyssa, she, at the beginning of the book, her mom dies. And after that happens, she stops believing in things like magic and fate and adventure. Um, and then something happens, and she has to go all the way across country from Seattle to Austin, Texas, to save her childhood home from being bulldozed. And along the way, she experiences all these crazy adventures that are kind of loosely, ex kind of loosely inspired by the same adventures that Odysseus has in the Odyssey, and that gets her to believe in magic again. Okay, question two: Which of Lissa's adventures is your favorite during her journey? So that's really easy. Um, the first scene that I wrote in this book um, is my absolute favorite. I kind of wrote it before I had a real idea of where the rest of the book was going. And it's the scene where Lyssa and her best friend Cersei stop at an abandoned fireworks stand and meet, um, meet this psychic named Teresius. And Teresius can tell that there's something going on with Lyssa, so he convinces her that he can commune with the dead, which is really important because Lyssa, more than anything, um, in the world, in the whole book, uh, she wants to talk to her mom again and to know that she's still watching over her. So she lets Teresius convince her and Cersei to do a seance and the whole scene is kind of spooky and kind of magical and it was just a lot of fun to write. So I'm not going to spoil it for you, you have to read the book to see how it turns out and see if she actually gets to talk to her mom. All right, so your third question is the hardest, which is fun. Um, you want to know what the hardest part about being a writer is and what the best part is. So the hardest part about being a writer is it's hard. There are a lot of good writers out there, guys. And um, when you're a writer, you have to first be a reader, which means you're reading all of these amazing books with writers doing these things that you just, you could never, you think you could never do. You at least, yeah, you at least think you could never do those things. Um, but the best part is, you know, you know when you're reading a book that you really love and you get to that part where the writer does something that just makes you so mad and you just you wish you could rewrite it well when you're a writer you you get to do that you get to rewrite the book and make it what you want um and that's you know that's pretty awesome so anyway thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and remember zip it's out this thursday september 27th spunky 11 year old adventurers spooky seance scenes greek mythology you know you want it. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.